When you're going to record something in slow motion, the first thing you want to do is go to your menu and set your frame rate to record at 60 frames per second. So one of our options is 1280 by 720 at 60 frames per second, so choose that. Then you want to set your shutter speed to be twice your frame rate. So we're shooting at 60 frames per second, so we want our shutter speed to be 120. The closest option is 125, so select that one. Now we're ready to shoot. When you go to shoot something for slow motion, you're going to want to shoot something that has action because you want to be able to slow the action down to kind of make it look cool. So if I'm going to slow motion something inside Final Cut Pro, I'm going to select my clip and put it on my timeline. The next step is to figure out where I'm going to slow motion it. So I'm looking for some action. So once I find that, I'm going to blade where that action is. And right here, I'm going to blade on where Zach's starting to walk. Then I'm going to come over here to the Retime tool. And I'm going to choose Custom. Now, once I choose Custom, I'm able to decide how slow I want it to be. So I can drag it out and make it as slow as I want. So I'm just going to drag this out and make it a lot slower. Once I do that, now I'm able to watch it and check out how it looks. So here's an example of Zach walking slow. It doesn't look bad, but we can make it look better. And one of the ways you can do it to make it look better is by going back to the Retime tool and going to Video Quality and choose Optical Flow. And what this is going to do is it's going to increase the frame rates and make it look smoother. So it's going to render and then we'll look at what the video looks like next. So this is what the video ends up looking like. You'll be able to see that it looks a lot better and a lot smoother. That's because we're able to optimize the video and increase the frame rate. Now we're going to add a little sound to it underneath to show that Zach's on a mission. So let's look at this again. I'm going to get this water droplet. I'm going to blade it. So the action is the droplet. So I'm going to find where it starts. I'm going to blade the beginning of it. And then I'm going to scrub ahead and find where it stops. And I'm going to blade the end. And then I'm going to retime it. So I'm going to select the clip and go over to my retime tool and choose. This time I'm just going to choose slow and I'm going to make it 10%. And if we watch this, we can see it looks pretty good. But I'm going to make it look better by going back to my Retime tool. And I'm going to make sure I choose Video Quality, Optimal Flow. And then also, I'm going to make sure that I preserve the pitch. Then that gives me the sound. So then it's going to analyze for op optical flow. And this is what we get. Now, just for fun, I'm going to add a little sound underneath it to kind of add to the whole water droplet hitting the sink and this is what we get from that. And the sound just makes the whole water droplet more believable. So there are some keys to be able to shoot in slow motion. First, you want to make sure you set the camera to 60 frames per second and also set your shutter speed. Then you need to shoot action and you need to shoot the action from a stationary camera that is on a tripod so it's not shaking at all. You need to make sure that you set your settings correctly in Final Cut Pro to make the video look good. And the last thing you should do is have some fun.